Hello, everybody. Welcome along to the final of this week's House of Games. What a week it has been and what a final we have on our hands. Goodness gracious me. Somebody at the end of today is walking away with this trophy. We're sort of down to two, really. We've got two people who are neck and neck, but we've got four very good quizzes with us this week, and they are Joe Brown, <laughs> Roger Black, Tip Stevenson, and Sandy <laughs> Poli. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> wow, I mean... <laughs> Someone's got to clap me at this game. Uh, <laughs> I'm no. just going to clap myself. <laughs> Tiff, I said it's a two-horse race, and it sort of is. These boys are, are, are dead level on 13 points each. But the last couple of days, you could have won both of them and then you just tripped up at the last second. Yeah, just... Uh... So you could be the fly in the ointment here, I think, and take your first win of the week. I got overconfident. You know, as a stand-up, I should know never to get overconfident. But you know what? It's a, it's a thin line, because you, you mustn't be underconfident in this life. Shall we take a little look at the leaderboard and how it stands in this... I'm going to call it an England v Scotland battle, <laughs> because <laughs> Roger Black and Sanjeev Kohli are on 13 points each. <sighs> double points Friday. It doesn't matter that it's double points Friday, because you're absolutely dead level. Mm. Joe, you have eight, and Tiff, you have seven. So four big scores is the truth. Some very, very good quizzing coming along. Sanjeev, you won the first three days. At a canter the first day as well. Roger's been creeping up and creeping up. And yesterday, finally, he took one of the prizes. But you've got to be thinking, you're going to win this for Scotland. No, but think about the, the physics of it. I was, like you say, st steamed ahead first day and been pulled back both day. Yesterday, I was last. Yeah. So am I actually going backwards now? I don't think so. Have I got so. a second wind? I felt you knew it was gone and you just thought, I'm going to save my energy for the, for the final. I did. I think you helped out. That's what I thought, Joe. Did you? No. No, Joe. <laughs> no, no, no prizes for winning the semi-final. There's the trophy. That's all we care about. There are prizes, though, Joe. Let's take a look at today's. You could be walking away with the deck chair, the sparkling wine, the plant pot, the cologne or the espadrille. <laughs> I mean... Wow. Um, listen, what a week it's been. It really has been a great week. Joe and Tiff have been so close a number of times. I'd love one of you to win today. Gents, I suspect it's between the two of you for this trophy. Mathematically, it'd be hard for anything else to happen, but it's 13 points each. One trophy, two competitors. England v Scotland. Our first round is... <laughs> rhyme time. Fingers on buzzers, please. Two questions at a time. The answers rhyme with each other. Best of luck, one and all. Actor who plays the Prime Minister in Love Actually... And the US name for aubergine. Sanjeev. Hugh Grant Eggplant. Hugh Grant Eggplant. Sauce to fire. Lovely way to start. Hugh Grant Eggplant. <laughs> Scotland gets a point from the most British answer possible. Yeah, Hugh Grant. <laughs> and next one. Spanish for yes, sir. And Scrabble Square that increases the points the most. Tiff. Si, senor. Triple word score. See, Senor, triple word score is the right answer, yes. See, Senor, triple word score. Here's your next question. Famous detective created by Colin Dexter. And what is this? Yes, Roger. Morse, clothes horse. Morse, clothes horse. Absolutely. Inspector Morse, clothes horse. Sharing the points around. Uh, next question. Who is this? And what is the title of this song? Sanjeev. Peter Snow, you ought to know. Peter Snow, you ought to know? Oh, well played. That's really good. Alanis Morissette. <laughs> Next one. Fawn in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. An Italian explorer who reached the Americas in 1492. Yes, Sanjeev. Mr. Tomnus, Christopher Columbus. Yeah, Mr. Very... Tomnus, Christopher Columbus. <laughs> well done, Sanjeev. Nicely done. Next two clues. Who is this? And what is this? Yes, Sanjeev. Raheem Sterling, curling. There you go. Raheem Sterling and curling. <laughs> Final question in this round. Brother's grim fairy tale about siblings who outsmart a witch. And Formula One World Drivers' Champion from 2010 to 2013. 
<laughs> yes, Tiff. <laughs> Uh, Hansel and Gretel and uh, Sebastian Vettel. Oh, Hansel and Gretel, beautiful. Sebastian Vettel. Well done. Beautiful. I'll play Tiff. Nicely done. That is the end of that round. Let's wow. take a look at the scores. Good start for Sanjeev there. Yeah. On this crucial day. Joe, yet to get off the <gasps> mark yet. Roger, you got one. Tiff, yeah. two. Sanjeev, four. Well done. Scotland take an early lead. Let's play our second round today. It's going to be... Coats emoji, <laughs> a pairs game. The player in fourth place chooses their partner today. Joe, that is you. Who would you like to play with? Uh, Roger. Ah, oh, that's nice. Back Go to and Roger. where we were. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Back where we started. Where we started. That's <laughs> nice. Joe doesn't want to move. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> Now, before the show, you each sent me the name of a British TV drama, but you were only allowed to use emojis. You've now got to guess the emojis that your partner sent me, OK? Mm -hmm. Joe, before the show, Roger sent me the following emojis, which hopefully should lead you to... God, I hate a... emojis. Oh, do you? Yeah. I love an emoji. I know, but you're younger than I am. I, mean, I haven't got... I, first of all, I haven't got a clue, yeah. but I can't actually see them most <laughs> of the time. It's just... Mm -hmm, yeah, you can't see yeah. them. Uh, Roger, you sent me this. Joe, which British TV drama is this? Oh. Mm. Huh. And the one, yeah. Mm. If it was a middle one, it would be The Crown. Well, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, this um, is a nice season, what's The Crown? Then there's a piece of cake next to it. So I'm like, OK. I don't really understand what the first one is, apart from, a, is it a like just looks like a lady or a, or a girl or a woman. Or... She... Mm. No, uh, mm. 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 Um, okay, um... Mm. Roger. Um... <laughs> no. No, I'm really sorry, Roger. Have you got it at home? We have not got it in the studio. Roger, why don't you take us through your thinking okay. and then tell so us the answer. The cake, I thought, actually, would be the giveaway. So that's a Victoria, it's a sponge cake. So it's Queen, it's a Queen, it's oh. Victoria. Oh, Victoria. Oh, Victoria. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. That's yeah. A, there's yes. a lot going on there. Yeah. Uh, well, do you, how so. else would you do Victoria, I suppose? Yeah. Um, that is the only way to do Victoria. Maybe a train. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then we'd have been even more confused. We'd be like, <laughs> crown cake train. Have you lost your mind, Roger? <laughs> uh, Victoria. Interesting. Well done at home if you've got Victoria foxed us here. Tiff. Before the show, yep. Sanjeev sent me the name of a British TV drama using simply emojis, but which British TV drama is he trying to hint at? OK. Someone's angry down, pointing down. Down. Interesting. I, um... Yuri Geller couldn't even get this. I'll be honest, it's a tough uh... one. Is, is that someone dancing? That's someone looking oh, like they're fun. doing Saturday Night Fever? Or are they point angry? The factory was making me think sort of Peaky Blinders, but I don't think it is that. I think it's... Oh, it's the one that's set... What's the one that's set up... Oh, no, cos there's no... There's one set up north with dancing at Last Tango in Halifax. Is that right? Yes! Wow! Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 That is oh. very, very good. Week. So impressed. Last yeah, Tango in Halifax. Well, there's a man dancing, and I was like, there's one up north, and it's... And you got Last, last, last yeah. Tango, last I guess. Last Tango, yeah. and that's... Yeah. What are that, the other two? That emoji looked orange. Yeah. Right. That is in, right. you've been tangled. Right. Oh. I know it's lateral, Richard. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not lateral. Yeah. I mean, that's almost over-lateral. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow, you've been tangled. I'm so impressed, Tiff. Beautifully done. Before the show, Roger, yep. Joe, okay. who hates emojis, yep. sent me the name <laughs> of a British TV drama. Um, <laughs> I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you. Here is the drama which Joe sent. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, TV drama. Quiet, shush. Silent. Ah, oh, dear. It's going to be so obvious, isn't it? Um, the people at home going, come on, that's obvious. I don't think I know. Every time you're out. Your really status as national treasure is a rule. Really, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't get it until you said one particular word. Justin, do you so guys sorry. know it? I think it's Silent Witness. Silent Witness? I love Silent Witness. There you go. Silent Witness, Joe? Yeah. Yeah, Silent what? Witness. Oh. You said silence. Silent yeah, Witness. You said silence. Silent Witness, yeah. Uh, that's good for someone who's very like emojis. Yeah, that's, that's very a good clue. Good. No, no, you, you couldn't have done any better, Joe. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. let you down. 
Very, very nice. But more okay. importantly, I've let myself down. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what? You let England down. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse. Sanjeev, before the show, Tiff sent me the name of a British TV drama. Which British TV drama is this? Uh, what's the person of non-specific gender in the middle doing? Um, Am I allowed to say what they're no, doing? You're no, you're not. OK. Yeah. I'm thinking aloud. Okay. Um, hmm. There's obviously a ring at the end. Yeah, I've got an idea apart from the ring. The Ooh, rings are di or it could be diamond, some sort of gem. Um... What do you think at home on this one? We struggled, haven't we, in this round? Yeah. Interesting. You got it. Yeah. Joe's got it. It's all someone likes emojis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can even. No. Nope. I'm so, and, and you did so well with my one. I feel like I should reciprocate. I'm not allowed to hint, am I? No, no, no. no. I think it's my masculine energy is closing me off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, blimey. Um, I'd... Should we time you out? Tenko. Is it Tenko? Of course it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I got this one. Um, <laughs> what do you think it is, Joe? Call the Call midwife. The midwife. Yeah. Call the midwife is the answer. <laughs> Um, what's the ring at the end? Wife. Well, wife. The wife. Married, I suppose. Oh, oh OK, yes. Because, you know, that was a lady with... That might not be the midwife, it was just a bit... So the birth, that yeah, was to seems... represent that. Um, that's the end of that round, our final pairs game of the week. Oh. Oh. Final time, we're pairing up, and let's see what it's done to the score. I thought some valiant efforts there. I liked them. thought there was some oh, good, yeah. good working out. Joe, still yet to get off the mark. <gasps> Roger, you have one point. Tiff, three points. Sanjeev, an early lead with five points. Well played. Very nice. Three rounds to go. Three rounds until we give away our trophy. Our next round today is... Two clues in one. OK, let's take a look at your first category. British Comedy Award winners. Now, <laughs> it's called Two Clues in One because I'm going to show you a clue as to who the answer is, but the clue will also have the same initials as the answer. Fingers on buzzers, please. Here's your first British Comedy Award winner. The answer has got the same initials as the clue. Dibley Frontwoman. <laughs> yes, Sanjeev. Dawn French. Dawn French, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Next British Comedy Award winner. Always chatty. Yes, Joe. Alan Carr. Alan Carr. Well played. Nicely done. <laughs> Next one. Satirical Borat creator. <laughs> yes, Sanji. Sasha Baron Cohen. Sasha Baron Cohen. <laughs> Your next category is Tom Cruise films. <sighs> <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Multiple instalments. Roger. Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Correct. <laughs> Next Tom Cruise film. Concoctions. <laughs> yes, Sanjeev. Cocktail. Cocktail. <laughs> I played. <laughs> Next Tom Cruise film. Just money. Yes, Sanjeev. Why have I done that? No, I'm afraid I need an immediate answer on this one. Tiff. Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire yeah, is yeah. the answer. Well done. <laughs> Next category. Radio programmes. Which radio programmes? <laughs> there we go. There she is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tumultuous Ambridge. Yes, Sanjeev. The Archers. The I'm Archers. That. Might as well be called your multiple yeah. sandwich, mightn't it? <laughs> the Archers, next radio programme. Jabber, avoiding mistakes. Yes, Tiff. Just a minute. Oh, oh just a oh, minute. Good. Well done. And final question, final radio programme. Divulging influential ditties. Yes, Roger. Desert Island Discs. Desert Island Discs. There we go. Well played, everyone. Points all round. Let's take a look at the scores. Two rounds to go. Two rounds until we give away our trophy.
Joe and Tiff still looking for their first win of the week. They've both been playing very well. We'd love to see one of them win. Roger and Sanji Thanks, right at the top of the leaderboard, England v Scotland. At the moment, Sanji ah. has himself a four-point lead. Yeah. Well played, Sanji. Oh. Here we go. Looking good for Scotland. Round four today is... Where is oh, Kazakhstan? Oh, Bordering oh, Russia, God. apparently. We got through <laughs> the whole week without having to do it. Tablets out, please, everyone. Oh. Come on, Roger, you've run everywhere in the world. You're going to know all these places. <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you a map. Geography is not... Uh... I love how much everyone enjoys where is yeah. Kazakhstan. Here's your map. It's a map of Europe. That's nice, at least. Oh. Sort of on home territory. And the first thing I'd like you to find is this, please. NATO headquarters. Oh. The NATO headquarters. I hope um, that this is a commonly available piece of information. It's not like some state secret and suddenly we're <laughs> revealing it. That'd be, that'd be bad, wouldn't it? <laughs> OK, everyone is in. What do you think at home? Where are the NATO headquarters? Joe, did you know the answer to this? Well, I thought it was Geneva. They're but... all... It sounds mm. about... They're all mm. there or thereabouts, aren't they? Um, so you've uh, attempted to find Geneva? Yeah, in Switzerland. Very nice. Roger, what were you thinking? I've done... I've thought exactly the same as Joe. So let's see where you've gone. Yeah, kind well, of. You've done a little bit above. Yeah, but close, yeah, Switzerland, close, yeah. Germany border. Tiff, what did you think the answer was? I just stuck an X somewhere. Lovely. <laughs> Czechia. Czech Republic. It's definitely not there. Well, who knows? <laughs> who knows? You've got, to, you've got to stick an X somewhere sometimes, haven't you? <laughs> um, Sanjeev. Well, now I think it's Geneva, but 30 seconds ago I thought it was Stockholm. OK. <laughs> and I don't even know if I'm in Sweden here, but uh, uh, I think... Let's take I... a look at where... Sanders, yeah, you're in Sweden. OK. Absolutely. So we are Sweden, Czech Republic, Switzerland, Switzerland. Let's take a look. Where are the NATO headquarters? Uh, in Brussels. Oh, Brussels. In Belgium. Uh... Roger Black, you fluked a point there. Well done. <laughs> well, and also I moved it from there as well. So well, did you? Yes, you moved it from there. Well yeah. done. And very well done at home if you knew it was Brussels. They're always sort of Brussels, East yeah. Strasbourg, Geneva. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Brussels, the answer, that's where NATO is. Can you find this? The home stadium of the football club Lech Poznan. Where the Lech Poznan play? You know this one at home? Football fans? OK, everyone's in. Roger, any idea with this one? No, no idea. But I'm thinking Czechoslovakia, round there. Let's take a look. Uh, actually in Poland there. Or I meant Poland. There, there you go. Yeah, great. Oh, well done. <laughs> Sounds more Polish, actually, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Tiff, what was your thinking? I thought sort of Eastern Blockish, um, and then I thought I'll go further east, yeah. so I'm up. There you are. Okay. You're in Belarus. Sanjeev, do you know? I did think Poland, but I had no idea where in Poland, so I've just hopefully picked Poland. I know I've picked Poland now, so, it's, yeah. Yep. Uh, Poland's sort of Warsaw, you are there. And Joe, what were you thinking? Poland as well. Poland. I was thinking Lech Valencia. That's oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, so it is in Poland. Ah. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry to break that to you. Imagine if it was in Belarus. What think... good you'd feel. Yeah. But who of the three of you? It's got the point. <laughs> Who is closest of the three of you to Poznan? Oh, I flicked it again. It is an absolute dead heat between Joe and Roger, so you get a point each. Oh. Absolute oh. dead heat. Oh. Well played, blimey. Uh, they've got the famous fans who do the, uh, the arms linked facing away from the pitch, the Pos oh, the, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. when other fans do a Poznan. Man City do it in various other clubs. Well done at home, if you knew that was in Poland. Uh, next thing I'd like you to find. The capital of the country that has won the Eurovision Song Contest the most times. Hmm. <sighs> this is sort of a good question for, for having arguments at home, if you know what I mean. There'll be sofas with disagreements on right now. The country that won Eurovision the most times. Everyone is in. What do you think at home on this one? It's interesting. There's a couple of sort of possible answers, aren't there? Tiff, what were you thinking? Um, I just went straight for Ireland. It's possible, they've right? They've won it a lot of times. Yeah. And I couldn't think of yeah. 
who else would be in the mix. So. And you know where it is. And I know where it <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, I know. So that's always a bonus. Lovely. So Tiff, yep, absolutely, in Ireland. Sanjeev, what were you thinking? I originally thought France or Holland, but then I, all I could think of was, what's another year, Johnny Logan. Mm. I've gone with Dublin as well. Lovely. Won it twice, didn't he, Johnny Logan? Three times, because he won it once as a songwriter as well. So, yeah, you both found yourself looking for Dublin. Joe, what were you thinking? Popped into Dublin as Popped well. Popped into Dublin, <laughs> have yeah. you? Dear. OK, we've got three Dublins. Roger. Well, I'm counting on the rest of Europe. I, I, I thought Sweden. Interesting. Do you know what? Those are the two things in my head. Yeah, in yeah. Ireland or Sweden. We're probably all wrong, but those yeah. we all like the two. Um, so you are in Sweden. Absolutely right. What do we think at home here? We've gone Ireland, we've gone Sweden, we've gone somewhere else. Let's find out, shall we? Which country has won it the most and who has scored the point? Uh, it is. Well Ireland. Done. I'm going to give all three of you well a point. Done. I can't. I'm not going to. Uh, well done. Yeah, very, very well done. <laughs> Lucky Roger. That's okay. Essentially, it's the same as taking a point off Roger. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all three of you getting a point. Final question in this round The Charles Bridge across the Voltava River. Where is that? How are you with this one at home? You've been over the Charles Bridge. You know where that is? Yeah. OK, final question of the round. Sanjeev, what were you thinking here? I was thinking Czech Republic, and we've talked a lot about the Czech Republic, but I can't remember where it was. Oh, no, this is, about that it. becomes a memory game. Because So uh, I've gone vaguely Slavic. That's, uh, yeah, I'd say more sort of Lithuania-y. Maybe it's, maybe, it's, maybe it's in lithuania -y. Joe, what were you thinking? I didn't really have a clue. It sounded towards Russia. Mm. Russian, -ish. yeah, Vlata, yeah. So I went to. Um, I you, hope that is that Ukraine. That is Ukraine, yeah. yeah. That is Ukraine. So um, at, at time of recording, yeah. um, <laughs> uh, Lithuania and Ukraine. Roger, what were you thinking? I wasn't. I, I had no idea. So I've just gone quite central, kind of Hungary, Slovakia -y yeah. area. And Tiff, what were you thinking? I was thinking Hungary, but I. I did. Well, you're in Austria. Obviously, you're Austria. In Austria. Yeah, yeah, it's near, it's near Hungary. So. Um, now, the Charles Bridge is exactly where you went first time, Tiff. It is in the Czech Republic, uh, Czechia. It's in Prague. But where is that and who has scored a point? Yay, well done. Tiff, you are closest. Very yeah. well done. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely played, Tiff. Yeah. Lovely end to the round. Tablets away, please, everyone. For the last time, bye, tablets. Bye. We have one more round to go. One more oh. set of answer smash before we <laughs> find our winner. Let's take a look at the scores going into that, shall we? Now, Joe, you have three points. I reckon I'm in with a chance. It's possible. In with a chance <laughs> of third. You never know. Roger, you got five. You've got to make up five points yeah. on Sanjeev. Listen, been done before. Tough. Uh, Tiff, you got seven points. Now you I've, can I've definitely a, catch up. Come I on, can. I've Come got on, a fresher yeah. headache now coming on. <laughs> <Fresh> <laughs> the <laughs> thing you have to remember is, <laughs> is you always buzz in. You've got a couple wrong, but you mustn't lose confidence because right, the okay. way you're going to win is by getting a few points here. And we'd love yeah, to see you win a day. Yeah, but I can't buzz in if, I've, if it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. quick. I don't know. That's absolutely right. And Sanjeev, looking pretty good for you. I would say three wins already this week. If you can hold on to that lead, you're going to be our champion. I've said okay. before, if anyone, anyone can chuck away a lead, it's a Scottish person. <laughs> we, we shall see. One final round of such a lovely week. It is, of course. Answer smash. Very best of luck, one and all. A point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Here we go. Let's find our champion. Sea creatures will be your first category. Those will be the pictures. Which comedian is the creator and star of the sitcom Not Going Out? Sanjeev. Lee Mackerel. Lee Mackerel. <laughs> well done, Lee Mack and Mackerel. <laughs> he is not letting this go. <laughs> Here's your next clue and your next picture. Martin Roberts and Dion Dublin are among the presenters on which daytime BBC property show? <laughs> Tiff. Homes under the... <sighs> Hammer Shark? Incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sanjeev. Holmes under the Hammerhead Shark. Holmes under the Hammerhead Shark, absolutely right. <laughs> next clue, next picture. 
Which song written for the 1940 film Pinocchio won the Oscar for Best Original Song? Yes, Roger. When you wish upon a starfish. When you wish <laughs> upon a starfish. Absolutely <laughs> right. Beautiful. Very beautiful sentiment. Um, next category. US actors will be the pictures. Which ABBA single shares its title with a successful stage musical based on their songs? Yes, Tiff. Mamma Mia Farrow. Okay. Mamma Mia Farrow. Very good. Well played. Yeah. Mamma Mia, Mia Farrow, Mamma Mia Farrow. Next clue, next picture. Dispur is the capital of which Indian state known for its tea production? Yes, that is Sanjeev. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> Samuel oh, L. Jackson, yes. well played. Assam and Samuel L. Jackson. Next clue, next picture. Tobago and which larger island form a country in the Caribbean? Yes, Tiff. Trinidad and Driver. Trinidad and Driver? <laughs> well played, Tiff. <laughs> and it is Trinidad and Driver. Trinidad. Adam so Driver. stupid. <laughs> it's a yeah, thank you for yeah. finally <laughs> noticing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next category. <laughs> on that bombshell. Oh. On that bombshell. I've lost Very it on well one. Well played, it on everybody. Oh, no, you were way ahead. No, no. Uh, yeah, I think we know he's won it. Uh, do you know what, Roger? A valiant effort, but <laughs> you don't mind losing to that sort of skill, do you? Not. What a performance not. all week it's been. A well-deserved um, winner, I would say. I would say so. Yeah. The first thing we'll do, let's get out of the way. Who's won on Friday? Uh, Friday's champion, double points Friday. The king of Glasgow himself, <laughs> Sanjeev Kohli. Well done, Sanjeev. You got yourself a prize. Which prize would you like? I would quite like someone else to get a prize today. Tiff, it feels like. Come on, Tiff. With all of those answers and answer smash. Yeah, he deserves something. I guess you're in that deck chair, Tiff. <laughs> you deserve something, Tiff. In the guy, it's either the deck chair or the. Club Tropicana Espadrilles. I'm not sure which <laughs> which of the two. I'll, I'm going to go for the deck chair. Sanjeev, you're giving your deck chair to Tiff Stevenson. I'm giving my deck chair to oh, lovely Tiff sweet. Stevenson. Takes home a house against deck chair. I think you've earned a prize this time. I think she has. Yeah. I think, I she, think has. she has. He said patronisingly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, though. What a week of quizzing it's been. Four really, really good quizzes, but one man. Head and shoulders above the rest from the start. What a quizzer. Ladies and gentlemen, your House of Games champion of the week is... Sanjeev Kohli. Well done, Sanjeev. Thank you. Thank you. Nicely done. Sanjeev, how are you feeling? Just seeing a league table with someone scotch at the top, it's... Uh, mm. finding it hard to breathe. It's quite something, isn't <laughs> it? It's uh, <laughs> hyperventilating. No, it's... it's I honestly, I've had the best fun. You don't mind losing to... A performance like that. What a performance. Joe, thank you for coming. Been a pleasure. Pleasure having you here. Tiff, congratulations on uh, getting a prize on, on the Friday. <laughs> Roger, thank you. Oh, congratulations on your win on Thursday great, as well. Great. Uh, but thank you so much and congratulations to our winner, Sanjeev Kohli. Congratulations, Sanjeev. Thank you so much for joining me all week. It's been an absolute pleasure. We'll see you next week on House of Games. <laughs>